Morning, everybody. Hey, this is Stuckman again. Hey, I actually have to get an admissions test done today. Uh, and I'm on the way there now. But before I go, I always like to check to see if I have any extraneous codes that'll pop up that may or may not interfere uh, with my admissions test. I've already got, you know, I'm checking it with the Ansel that you see me on a video with earlier this year. And I have it plugged up already. I didn't want to waste you time, your guys' time by showing you that again. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can do this test real quick and see what happens. I've already got it connected. I already have uh, established my Bluetooth connection with the test box. It's plugged into my OBD2 plug and this is on little Susie again my 2006 Honda CRV uh, we'll see if she spits a code out she did earlier this year it was the coldest night here in Georgia and uh, when I come out of work it was something like 18 degrees uh, I heard a hum that came from under the hood I do not know I, it sounded like it come from an analog breaking box but I am not sure, uh, but it spit a code out, and I didn't have this in the car, so I checked it the next morning, and it gave a code, but it said that it it, it could be an erroneous code that sometimes is spit out uh, by the computer at uh, certain times, but I checked it, and it was nothing. I, well, it was that code, but I it said it could clear on its own, but I went ahead and cleared it, and it hasn't come back. Okay, let's get started. We're going to pick Asia, Honda. I'm going to say VIN scan. Well, even though it knows the VIN scan, the VIN number, it'll come up with it anyway. Well, actually, you know what? Let me put the key in this joker for this little girl. I'll turn my 80s music down a little bit so you guys can hear it. It says it couldn't read the van. I didn't have the switch on. I hit OK. End scan. This time for sure. It's looking. Yes, indeed, it's looking. It did it. Okay. I am in U.S. We'll do a quick test. It is currently scanning to see if a code is going to pop up. I hope it's not. If it is, then I'm going to have to get it fixed before I get the emissions, emissions check done. So far, so good. Let's check two ECUs, and so far, no code. And as I stated in my previous videos, uh, depending on how many modules your car has for it to go through, this can take anywhere between 10, 15 minutes. I think this, I think, well, maybe about five, to, in between, between, yeah, I think 10 and 15 minutes. But this car is a little older. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, fancy gizmos to go through modules. So I think that it'll be a lot quicker. 
I mean, after all, it is called a rapid test, but it may only take five minutes or so, five to seven minutes on, on little Susie today. And uh, so far, so good. I got okays all the way down so far. That's what we're shooting for. Sorry about the glare. Again, this this is the Ancel X7 OBD2 Bluetooth tester. Um, I've used it on a couple people's car. They were pretty impressed with it. I was impressed with it uh, because it does give you a wealth of information uh, that you can use to reset lights or help someone pass an emissions test. Uh, just by telling them well, what they need to fix. And uh, it works pretty good. Um, don't have any complaints with it. Except, like I told you on the last video, the X6 Bluetooth dongle is a little more compact than this one. Uh, but this one works good. Now, this, this stuff is happening in real time. Uh, as I'm sitting here getting ready to go get an emissions test, we're talking as soon as it's done uh, and it does not show a code, then I'm going to go and get it tested. So we shall see, we shall see. It always says this for some reason, it fails. And I think that's because the engine's not running. But it's going to bypass that. As you can see, it's gone through five modules. It has no codes. 30% done now. I was going to use a different scanner. I have a different old scanner uh, that has uh, served me very well in the past. And I was going to use it. But I said, you know what? Uh, I actually want to see what the heck's happening, if anything. And so far, I have nothing. You can hear uh, the code, I mean the uh, ECU or modules clicking through as this thing's working. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it'll you'll hear it clicking through uh, as it checks modules the radio module the whatever it, it checks the it checks everything uh, some of these features i don't have the camera um let's see i i think this is the mobilization so that's the key i think i well obviously i know i have that i do not have night vision so it ought to bypass that one i don't have smart start i guess i'm the smart start <laughs> Um, doesn't have an electric parking brake, so it goes through different modules uh, that would be applicable to your vehicle, and it it'll again because it, the, the the least amount of EC uh, modules that you have is the faster that the test will go through. As you can see, ECU and all modules only have really five in this vehicle. And I have zero codes. That is great. I like that. So, we'll go back. Yes. And we will do. Go back again. Go back again. Go back. 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 All right, then. We'll hit OK. It is uh, USA. Let's see, we'll have control units. And I don't see it already went through all of these to uh to check. But I'm gonna go back home and I want to do is a hot uh, is a hot function. Y'all have to excuse me. It's been a little bit since I had played with this thing. Um but uh, 
I'm going to get to where I want to get to here in just a second. No, that's not it. Let's go. I don't want to do that. Oh, there it is again. Okay. We'll go home and do. Mm, where is mine? Where is mine? I think it's DTC query. That gives you all your codes, as I showed you on the last video. And I don't know. I thought it was hot functions. I don't want to do a quick test. Yeah. Anyway, time is of the essence. So, as you can see, uh, little Susie's ready for the test. And. I don't want hot functions. That's not what I'm after today. No, all those systems are good. Don't want that. I want. I don't. I don't need to update it. Don't need to query. That's where it's picking up from the plug. It's getting 12 volts, 12 and a half volts. It's connected. Basically, what I'm trying to get to, it will tell you definitely if your if your emotion emission functions. Are working like supposed to, uh, but be that as it may, they are, and uh, well, I don't have any issues today. So, with no further ado, I'm gonna head to get the emissions done. I want to thank y'all for watching. I want to thank my very few supporters that I have, followers. As I told you, as stuff comes up, or if I get something different, or got any questions, hit me up. Uh, I appreciate you uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate you taking the time to look at what I got. Today was a little shorter video, uh, but uh, we we got the result we was hoping for. Anyway, y'all take care. And uh, this is Stick Man signing out. All right. Thanks, guys.